Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out another resource from London Studios, this time Police Grappler, which is an actual like anti-pursuit type um, thing, so it's pretty cool. It attaches to the front of your police vehicle and then it will grab onto the tire and um, parts of the car to slow it down and stop. Here's an image of that right there. Pretty cool. I think this could be really useful, especially in like um, chases on your 5M server rather than doing spike strips. It just adds another level of possibilities for you to actually stop them. This is a paid resource. You can get it on TebX. I'll leave a link down in the description to it. It is very, very, very well documented. We're going to go through this in a minute, um, but you have lots of information on how to use it. It works with all of the um, different types of cores. QB core, ESX, it also is standalone if you don't use any of those, which really works well. All right, so just a uh, reminder here, you need to make sure you are on server version 5181 or above. This is server artifact version, not game build version. So uh, you can look up whatever your um, artifacts are if you're on Windows or Linux, and as long as you are pretty much above the latest recommended, because that is above what is needed. So as long as you're actually on the latest recommended, you're going to be okay. So just make sure to be using this or one of the latest optional ones or just the latest build, uh, depending on your server. But you need to be on the latest recommended or this is not going to work. Once you purchase the resource over on their TebX, you're going to have access to it in Keymaster. You can see here I have the smart fires from last time and I have the grappler script this time. So all I have to do is when I'm in Keymaster is press download on that grappler script. There we go. Now it's downloaded successfully. So there we go. You can see you have the stream and all the files in here that you're going to need. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the um, documentation and we're going to go over this real quick. Um, it's going to say navigate to resources, place a new folder, and then put everything inside of that. We'll do that in a minute. Um, some of the things this includes easily deploys with a click of a button or the command, depending on what you want. Um, it will bring the vehicle to a stop. It can be reloaded when you install a new one on the front. You can have custom, these are all custom props, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can use it with QB core, ESX, VRP, standalone, and ACE permissions as well. And it is fully translatable. Um, so your commands, let's take a look at these. Slash grappler, install, deploy, and remove. Install is putting it on the front of your car. You must be out of your vehicle to do this. Deploy is to deploy it when you're in the car, or you can use the key binding or remove, and that will remove it, and then you can reinstall it if you want to add a second one. The translations, you can go into the config.lula to use. We'll look at that in a minute. You can translate the commands as well, which is pretty cool. Permissions, if you enable them, you can obviously um, have the command.grappler in ace permissions, or if you're using ESX VRP or QB, QB core, can never say that correctly, you can set that up right here with the different jobs and ESX and QB core uh, settings there. So that's pretty cool. We will have to set up our vehicles, so each vehicle that you use must be set in the configure file. So obviously, a player can't go up to a normal vehicle um, and say, like, grapple on the front of it. It's going to have to be a police vehicle. And you can go ahead and also uh, set up the little bit of the um, rotation and um, the location on the car that it is. So that is also configurable, which is pretty cool. You have the deployment key, so that would be um, Y on your keyboard. Um, you have the Discord logging, so if you want it to send out a log to the chat, you can. You have the animation as well, and the sound. So that is pretty much everything that comes with it. Why don't we go ahead and install it now? We're going to go to our resources page, or resources page, resources folder, and we're going to create a new folder, and I'm just going to call this Grappler. Keep it easy. Name it Grappler, and I'm going to drag all of these files into there, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and edit my config.lula file with Notepad++. And we're going to go ahead and take a look in here and see what we have. You have your police vehicles, so by default you have police 4 um, and the Valor one as well. But you can add your own and you're going to want to add this to any of your add-on vehicles you have in your server, depending on what their names are. You have the grappler command, so by example up here, to add another one of these it's pretty easy. You can literally just copy the existing one and then paste it in. Just make sure everything's formatted correctly, um, but you can just paste it in like that. It is quite easy and then change the name so I can just do police just like that response car one or something engine you know just go on like that I'm just going to keep it like that make sure you have this little um parentheses at the end not parentheses comma at the end and um it is formatted the same way as all the other ones because if you have a misformatting here it's not going to work correctly so just make sure that is set up correctly 
And then the section is where if you want to enable ESX, VRP, QB core, or ACE permissions, you can do that here. Just enable it to your liking, set up the job names, all that good stuff if you have that. Then you have the keys. You can go to the 5M docs for the controls. I'm going to keep it default, so that will be Y. You have the sound. Do you want to use the sound? What will it be? You have a list of all the sounds you can possibly have. Do you want Discord logging? So this would be... Um, do you want it to log in Discord? I'm going to say no. I don't want Discord to be logged at all because I'm not going to set that up. Do you want translation? So you can modify this to any of your liking. So every message can be changed. Do you want an animation? I'm going to keep that true. Do you want um, the wheel bones uh, that the kind of grappler will hook onto? So you can do that here as well. And then you have also the props used by the resource. Um, I would leave this blank. They recommend that as well. We're going to go ahead and save this. We're going to go back in here. That's pretty much all the configuration we need to do. We don't have any custom cars or anything we're going to be adding. I'm going to take the name of that folder, which is Grappler, and go into my server.cfg and add insure Grappler, just like that. Go ahead and save, and then I'm going to start up my server. The way you're going to make sure everything starts up correctly, look in um, the chat and make sure you see started resource Grappler or whatever you name that folder. That is the way you're going to make sure it all loaded up successfully. Now let's hop in game and check it out. All right, so I'm in game here, and now that I'm outside my vehicle, I'm going to do slash Grappler install and then my guy's going to run to the front of the vehicle he's going to probably the worst place to park for this he's going to do the animation and actually install it and it's once it's installed it's going to actually pop up from underneath the vehicle just right there so you can see it down there it has now been installed so if i get into my vehicle um remember the hotkey is y to deploy it so let's go ahead and press y while we're driving here you can see it's going to deploy and it's going to come down from the hood obviously you can set this up and the amount it's going. Um, so you can see, since this vehicle is one of the ones that we added and we didn't modify the location, it's gonna show up under the ground. But you would obviously customize this for your vehicles in the configure file. Now, when we're behind a vehicle, and then I'm gonna try to get as close as I can so it kind of hooks the tire of that other vehicle. So we're gonna try to get it up here so we kind of hook. Kind of hard to see, but we're gonna hook the tire of the vehicle. There we go. And now you can see we are attached. And he's still going to try to keep going. But if I go ahead and put on my brake, he's going to come pretty much to a complete stop. And obviously, you can, um, you're can you still attached to it. So you'll see that wire there. And then if I come to a stop, he's going to come to a stop. So pretty much you would be, whatever vehicle would be doing this would be like fully reversing or putting their e-brake on. And then the other officers would be obviously getting the suspect out of the vehicle. Um, so if we go ahead and have this attack, and I'm going to come to a complete stop and kind of turn. So it will pull your vehicle. Just be aware of that. Um, so they're trying to back up, and they're going to try to keep going forward. But I'm just going to keep them held here for a minute to showcase this. So they're obviously going to try to escape it. But it's not going to work. They are a little bit more powerful than my vehicle. And obviously, you wouldn't be doing this in real life, because I'm just trying to get them to stop so I can showcase this. I may need to shoot them. Hold on, because... Obviously, this is not a real person. This is an NPC. So I'm going to get all weapons here. And I'm just going to, unfortunately, have to make them stop for a minute. There we go. How do I have a wanted level? That doesn't make sense. Um, so I've gone ahead and ended that there. And I'm going to type slash grappler. And then I'm going to type remove. And this here will go ahead and remove it from being active, which is pretty cool. So obviously, once your pursuit is over, you can't just have it sitting it through your car like that so there we go it has been removed and we are good to go now before the police the actual police get here and arrest me thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe and um hopefully this did help you out on figuring out how to set it up for your server so i really like this resource um i'm going to be using it in some of our upcoming 5pd episodes just to keep it a little bit easier and more realistic and um we'll go from there so thanks so much for watching and have a really good afternoon while I try to escape these police officers. See you all tomorrow. Goodbye.